Welcome to another video with Linux Mint 19.3 and today we'll talk about cloud uh, data syncing. We'll have a, a Dropbox, Google Drive and OneDrive. Cover it in this video. We'll start with the Dropbox. If you go to the website of Dropbox, you have options uh, to download and uh, install manually. Uh, the the file, but uh, in this video I will use the native installation, which is supported uh, through the the software manager inside of Linux Mint, so you don't have to type any commands. Execute the software manager. Type in the search box uh, Dropbox, and you see it. Uh, like available application which you just have to click and um, press the button for install After a few seconds, uh, the installation will complete and you can launch the app. You can ign just ignore this message because no other installation needed. Even if it says it uh, have some package has to be installed, but uh, it looks like Windows Mint 19.3 doesn't need anything special. And now the application is installed and running. I found uh, that uh, the only browser will requires to be signed in the, it's Firefox. So uh, my default browser was uh, Waterfox and that's why I couldn't sign in. Anyway, uh, just to let you know, um, if you open the applications you have options to choose to start uh, automatically with the computer every time or run it manually and have a few uh, options which will be usable after you sign in like changing the location of uh, your files and etc so how I demonstrate it actually when you click sign in require browser but uh, is not any browser it has to be Firefox which is coming together with your Linux Mint installation so in that case I had to launch uh, my Firefox and made it uh, default browser that's the uh, way if in case that you have other browser you can just follow these steps to make it uh, default so since now my firefox is default browser i can click sign in and it will open this firefox where i can use my login credential for dropbox if you don't have you just can create a new account after i sign in through this Firefox, my Dropbox also is signed and it's ready to operate. From this moment, um, you'll find uh, that uh, automatically syncing the files, and I will make a small test to show you that actually, when you copy files in your Dropbox folder, they will appear in. Uh, cloud. This is the section when you can select a different uh, folders or syncing preferences. And that's the account which now is synced. Okay, so let's run one small test. I'll check the cloud through the browser and I'll open my uh, file manager in Linux Mint
this is the folder Dropbox which has been created and all files are synced with cloud so I will copy one small screenshot image which I have on my local drive and I will paste it inside of Dropbox folder let's open Firefox or any browser now uh, and see if uh, this file has been uploaded as you can see the file is uploaded already automatically in the cloud so this is everything about Dropbox it's pretty fast next step is Google Drive Google Drive actually it's also very fast and don't need uh, any application to be installed it's supported natively by Linux Mint you just have to go in uh, online account you'll find there Google and you just sign in with your Google email account small information what will be able to sync later you can choose uh, to, uh, to to choose which options to activate or deactivate so after entering the password of your Linux Mint here are the options which one you like to be active or not calendars and everything don't press the red button this is removing the account I pressed it by mistake before so you have to close from the small X on the top right corner and here it is Google OneDrive is active no apps is installed so you'll be able to find it in your file manager in networking it's like shared drive so if you open this network Google Drive share folder and you can access it as you can see on the top saying Google Drive so if you copy and paste it any folders inside of this shared folder it will sync in cloud so no apps required at all I try to see with Microsoft if I uh, can create and join for OneDrive but unfortunately nothing happened it was completely useless for me anyways let me show you same procedure online accounts sign into your Microsoft account it shows that it should to be able to send documents but didn't really work as you can see in the next screen I have options which is says documentations or documents but nothing was actually near to Google account didn't appear in the network sharing nothing so you still can change your setting is Google Drive they will just stay here you can remove the account from these online accounts so now Microsoft account also it's active but I will just show you that is not inside of the network share uh, networking share folders and is not inside of the your menu like app which you can find So OneDrive will be installed like app and is not natively for support from supported from Microsoft. Thanks for the for this person who actually supporting OneDrive. We'll do it, it uh, using uh, 
software manager. Right now I'll connect to through the browser to my Microsoft uh, OneDrive just to let you show what is inside and after them I'll make a test like uh, Dropbox copy paste a few files to see that everything is working properly. That's my first actually login from here, so it will pop up a few messages. And from here I will go to OneDrive. Okay, here are the files. For the moment, uh, everything is empty because it's an empty account. We're going to use Software Manager to install the app. Just type inside OneDrive. And press the button Install. After the installation finish, you'll not be able to launch anything. It's turned out that after reading the documentation, you have to run for the very first time OneDrive through the console command. Sorry, I put my recording on pause, so I have to guide you for the steps which I did. Open the console command and type OneDrive pressing enter and you see a generated uh, URL link right button on the top and press copy open your Firefox again it's better to be Firefox browser and paste uh, this uh, URL it will open a blank page you actually need the URL inside of it select all copy this URL, go back to your console window and paste it. It will expect to enter this URL from the browser. So just click paste and press enter. After executing the command, it will finish the configuration creating a few folders. From now on OneDrive is ready, but you have to wait make one more step to start syncing automatically right now in your files home folder you see one drive folder created everything looks like a mirror of your cloud but if you copy paste any files or delete any files you have to execute from console command uh, every single time OneDrive to sync. So if I copy paste a file, I have to execute again OneDrive to sync the file. To make it uh, to sync automatically, you have to run two more commands. All documentation and very detailed instructions you'll find if you go in the software manager in OneDrive you see a link to github of uh, the person who the developer who made it and in section download have a very detailed uh, instructions about all kind of configurations and settings which you can do. In our case I will just take the two commands which will allow auto sync
so this is the different options uh, which you can choose and commands which you can execute and configure for me I don't really need anything uh, advanced I need only to activate auto sync so I copy the commands one by one executing the console command uh, in the console window and it's everything what you had to do from now on one drive is completely uh, configured and it will sync like uh, the other two Google Drive and uh, Dropbox completely automatically right now if I do any change uh, in cloud or on my local computer it will mirror the change for example I will copy uh, one text file I'll paste it in OneDrive folder in the subfolder documents and it will take just a few seconds to see in the browser And here is the file uploaded in the cloud. If I delete a file uh, from the browser in the cloud, you see that the file will disappear from my local machine as well. This is everything what I wanted to show you today. Thank you to be with me and I will see you maybe the next time. Thank you.